All right, guys, we have an issue with our press brake. We were just running the, the up and down feature with the pedal and it stopped all of a sudden. We still have the lights on for the back gauge. Back gauge working, everything else has got power, but we notice no power, cannot get power. So, Jason, what's our first step? What, what should we look for? We're gonna go to the service disconnect and take this uh, piece of equipment out of service. Perfect. He's so serious. <laughs> All right, it's right over here. Off. Turn it off. Open her up. Now, be careful. There is, oh, what are you doing? Well, we're gonna make sure it's off. So we're checking for power. Okay, you got squeeze the little side thing on there. Might need a new battery. Oh yeah, ooh, we got power. That means beware. Nope, no power down there. Cold. Perfect. So now we're gonna find the bad fuse. So we're going to resistance, ohms. Where are you reading there? 0 0.3, 0 0.5? That's okay. Oh, good fuse. Overload. Is that what that means? Yeah, yeah, it's open. Open. All right, so it's that third one. Power's still off. Power's off. Use your favorite insulated uh, utensil. And we grab another fuse and we will show where those are located. They're not always in Jason's pocket. Put it in the same direction. Pump the side down. This is a 60 amp fuse. Feels good. Good. Now we can close it up. Place the equipment back in service. All right. Back over here. <clears throat> Just for good measure, uh, the motor controller has a reset button. Make sure these aren't tripped. Now we can check for power up top there now too, right? Yep. Power up. We got power below it. We won't now, will we? Yeah, because it's off. What if we took? Yeah, we don't want that. And then. Close it up, turn it on. Thanks. Sweet! All right. Any questions? Talk to somebody. Thank you.